television was not able to play every three days. And this is Rizabal, I think, his person. Takes defensive mistakes. Last season, always every game, it was two or three actions and mistakes. And that season is ridiculous. Some footballers, when they have a problem outside, they forget it when they are inside, and other ones put the problems inside. What personal issues do you think Guardiola might have been referring to that Stones might have had? Well, he he splits up with his his long term partner, and by the the kind of media reports around it, it wasn't uh, an easy thing. I mean, it's ne never an easy thing to go through for for anybody, uh, but it was a particularly difficult split, and uh, there was. There was an incident where City went to Spurs early in 2020, and I think he had a hearing the next day or, or in the coming days uh, about custody of his child. And Guardiola just said quite bluntly that, uh, you know, I pretty much told him he, he wasn't in the right frame of mind to be playing the game at Spurs, and that's where Eric Garcia was. Listen, if I'm being totally honest, I don't think John Stones has really kicked on since he made that move from Man City, uh, from Everton to Man City. But this season... Pep, you've talked a lot about your attack. Could you just say what you think about John Stone's performance today, he's been criticised a lot this season, but he seemed to play very well. You know, John Stone had more personality than all of us here together in this room. More balls than everyone here, guys. So, and I like that place. I love. With under pressure, the people criticise him, the people say, well, everyone, he went there and play again, and when I play, when we talk, when we talk. So I am delighted to have John. With all his huge and amount of mistakes they have, I love him. I love this kind of guys with this personality. Because it's, um, is John Stones fit and available for tomorrow? Yeah. Um, how has how he trained this week and, and how? Step by step is getting better. But it's he's not still on top, but it's getting better. But it's good to take minutes for tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, before I think before the Shakhtar game, you were saying that you, you felt that he would have a, a long run. That, that didn't happen. What has he got to do to stay fit? And, and how convinced are you that he can be relied on long term? Because he's only played 11 games of 30 this season. He has to be fit. After two, three games, after he fell down, and he cannot play. So. But is there anything he can do in particular to, to help himself stay we fit? We try to do. We try to help him, and we try to do the best for him to help him. Since the day one. 
three years and a half we are here. Yeah, we do everything for him. But you still have faith in him as a defender, as a player, long term? Yeah. It's a thing in football that happens and, and, and as I say, I think you, for me personally, I've always got to review it after and, and analyse everything and, and be self-critical in, in those situations because then you can, you can move on from it and learn from it in, in, a, in a better way, in, in, in my opinion. Despite the... John Stones! No, I've got to talk about John Stones because how many times you see players get written off? But, you know, he's gone away and he's, he's worked on his game. He's played with a smile on his face. And, he, yeah, he's, he's grown in confidence and he's becoming the player that we all thought he would, he would be. In his last... On the bench, and th there was kind of a lot of talk about what was going on for that game because Stones was fit, he was available, uh, but he was just left in Manchester. And that's you know, that. I think Guardiola's right. You can't ignore the effect of uh, of something like you know a long term relationship breakup, you know custody of your children. What that sort of effect on on players' lives? They are human beings, as Guardiola says, and I think you know hopefully those those sorts of uh, issues that he was having to deal with. Um, hopefully he's dealt with them and he's and, and he's in a, a much better place. He's been on top of the world as a player. I don't think I've seen him in the sort of form he's in now. People have said he's back to his best. I think he's probably been better than his best at City. That's kind of the level he's he's playing at at the moment. And it feels like everything he touches is just going to happen. Everything's going to, going to fall into place perfectly. I, I don't think I've ever seen a player play with, with such confidence as, as Stones is at the moment. That's, that's the level that he's at right now. It's hard for me to let go But I think that I'm finally free So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were open by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally healing from you
so hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were opened by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign, this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally healing from you Two really good goals, lots of touches. Just looks so assured, such a different player than we saw previously in the City team. 